full blast. Full. And how do you put, put it on full blast? Right. That's not full. Figure it out. It's a switch.
Took the transmission out and changed the pump seals. Um, and then, turns out, <laughs> we found it was leaking right there, probably the whole time. Alright, now. All right. There you go. So, here's the underside. First time seeing this van on a lift. That's all they did. Brand new exhaust nuts. Then over here was one stud we drilled. Old stud, we put a nut on. Then we had to put this bolt upside down because it wouldn't, the pipe wouldn't cooperate with us. There's the motor mounts. They don't look so great. Yeah, those things are freaking squished. The starter is not that old. This brake hose here I replaced some years ago. That got clogged. There's my power steering pump that I'm just now finding out is going out. You know, I still got power steering, but this is looking pretty bad. This thing is so loose. This belt has stretched out to nothing now. The tensioner is maxed out but I think this thing it's got some really bad play in it this one of these this bolt here is pretty loose you know but it's leaking all over the place and that's just making this thing a crustier mess even the even the what looks to be the yeah, the hoses for the power steering are leaking too. Got one hose that's soaked. So far the fuel pump is looking okay. Here's a new belt I just put on. The whole reason why I'm out here is because this belt just snapped. And I had no alternator, no fan. So now that's fixed. You know, so far, even after all this shit, this front end is still pretty solid. It's not flopping around or anything. And there's the, the proportioning valve for the brakes and the sensor right on top, which is causing that brake light. That thing is intermittent. This thing was definitely designed to be worked on on a lift because most of this stuff would not be accessible from the ground that easily because this thing's a cab over. Here's our wonderful stupid exhaust. All the springs of the airframe is solid. And we got all the lift posts on the frame. Didn't want to risk the pinch weld. Transmission's looking okay, not seeing any any leaks it is a little wet but that could be oil blowing back because I think this oil pan gasket is toast and I think it's kind of explaining itself it's just full of caked on oil and there's my dauber's nest in there But yeah, I mean, this thing's pretty basic. Probably every piece of rubber on it's got to get replaced. 
You got a grease gun? Um, I don't know where that is. Here? Here. <laughs> yeah. Here. Hmm. Oh, I'll see if I can find one. What's this thing? I guess they're all that way. I guess it's more brake line. And of course, pinion seals a mess as always. Didn't get a chance to replace it, but maybe in the future pretty soon can replace that get that done yeah it's solid but it's rusty solid there's all the fuel lines i think we all this stuff is soft so that's a good sign when you when your fuel hose is hard as a rock that's got to go or you're gonna burn to the ground yeah you know, like this is an example they, they just use some hose fuel hose to vent this diff and i can't even squeeze that supposed to be like this and there's the only hole in this whole entire van right there that little thing why because the sunroof leaked and over time and we didn't make any effort to seal it so it caused a hole mm -hmm. that, that is the only thing rest of this is solid all right so that's pretty much this van on a lift